and Karen Sprague, and yes, I own um, Karen Sprague Stone Carvers LLC. We're in Scituate, Rhode Island, USA. The carvers that work with me have all very different backgrounds. Myself, it was just an early love of lettering that progressed carving letters in wood, um, meeting a teacher who was a wood and stone carver, and he taught me how to cut my first letter in stone. When my father-in-law died, suddenly, um, I had a clear leading to carve his gravestone. I'd never carved a gravestone. I had carved some lettering in stone, had a little bit of practice um, training with a teacher. I was just driven to create this gravestone for my father-in-law. So I finished that one piece and even in the, you know, beginning it, I knew this was the work I was going to do. I finished the piece and I stepped back and I said, this is the work I will do. I will say yes to it. To be a stone carver, one needs to be dedicated to the craft, needs to be patient. It is not fast. It is not mass produced. And that is also what makes us different, what sets us apart. It is a highly skilled craft. You know, when you're carving and you're in that flow, you're in that groove, it, there's great rhythm, there's, um, um, and then there's incredible beauty that's coming out as you get to those final marks of, of creating the finish of that letter and just touching, the, getting that very quiet wisp on the serif. When a family arrives, they're not seeing a lineup of blank stones that they're going to pick a shape and we're going to put their loved one's name on it. Each stone is designed specific for this person we're going to remember. And the design comes through after this process of really listening, looking at some photographs, hearing the stories of what they were like as nine-year-olds. What was the music? Why did they want to get out of bed? How did they live their life? Several weeks will go by, I'll be sitting at my drawing table, I'll light a candle, I'll have their photos there of the person we're going to remember, and I'm waiting. Uh, but um, I'm waiting for that design to come through, and things will start to happen, I'll start to draw, um, I'll make some revisions, and then I'll feel it, that it's right. I'm Jim Miller, and this is my wife Catherine. We live in Sheffield, Massachusetts, and we designed our own headstone. We had met uh, Karen Sprague a couple of times in the area when she was doing demonstrations of her carving and we were struck by the quality of her work and who she was as a person. And so we sought her out at her studio in Rhode Island and uh, the process began. I got excited when I went into the shop for the first time. Not anything more than a cutter in one hand and a mallet in the other hand. And, and that is my you know, my historical perception of how stones were made 200 years ago. To me, that was an exciting, an exciting experience, if anybody can believe that. It was just beautiful. It was just, you felt like you were being kind of brought into it. It was almost a, a womb-like experience. And, and it's a very warm and inviting and a comfortable setting to sit in and tea and just conversation and lots of listening on Karen's part just eliciting from us our thoughts, our feelings, our desires. And I think she captured it beautifully. And we're thrilled with the end result. So the top of the stone has got a number of symbols which are representative of us as a couple in our lives together. Uh, there's a maple tree that I look at as sort of a tree of life. Um, and since I have a great interest in the shakers, that resonates with me. And it's got leaves on it as well as seed pods, which shows the evolutionary nature of life. Uh, beneath the maple trees is a wonderful um, carving of pine trees, a whole forest of pine trees, which is exactly what this property is, a forest of pine trees. And sitting on the tree are two birds, one that's very quiet and scholarly and contemplative, this guy, and the other who is sitting there a little bit uh, antsy on one foot ready to take off, that's me who doesn't like to sit still. And then between us is a wonderful big book which represents our love of 
reading and books in the library. And on the book is a, um, a picture of the two hemispheres of the world representing our love of travel. And at the very top is the cursive M for Miller, which is actually on one of the archways in our house. And then just below the M is a heart. <laughs> 40 years of love. <laughs> the L word. The L word. <laughs> I think we have a tremendous appreciation for and respect for people who are creative, people who can make things, whether they're stone carvers or basket makers or woodworkers or painters, it really doesn't matter, but someone who's got that creative element. And that's what one of the really distinguishing characteristics of Karen Sprague's business is that it's, it's a work of love that born out of a lot of thinking and talking and listening <clears throat> and out of this these pair of hands or several pairs of hands because there's three of them in that studio who use chisels and mallets to create this work of art it's time painstaking thoughtful work that takes hours and hours and hours and patience and thought and love and that's how, I think I didn't come out of the studio the first time with, with as strong a sense of that as I did when I saw our stone. And then I knew it, you know, it was there. It just jumped at me. So I am very happy to have discovered this work and then to share it with several artists daily. Adam has been with me seven years and Tracy has been here just over eight years. Stephen has arrived within this past year as a, our new apprentice. And it's incredible to share this work with them. It's incredible to see uh, what, it, what together we are creating.